All right, and trouble in paradise for the royal family as some claims and accusations from Prince Harry's autobiography, Spare, have been released. The Duke of Sussex is claiming he was physically attacked by his, by his brother, Prince William, back in 2019. Wow, this saga just seems to have no end in sight, guys. Well, you know what? It's good for book sales. Yes, it is. Good for viewership of their uh, documentary series. I liked it. I saw it on I, Netflix. I, liked it. I, I am not a consumer of no. any of this stuff, but I imagine Harry. if you leak salacious details of your autobiography, oh. then people will want to buy your autobiography. You don't say. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I whether you care about the royals or not, it, I guess it's savvy, <laughs> savvy marketing on the part of the prince. Yes, from a marketing perspective, it is great. And as, you know, someone who does not track the royals to any extent outside of knowing their names, um, <laughs> I, I think that for any of the endeavors that they look to really move forward with at this point, and it's really been around a lot of the content, but either on the entertainment side or the written written side, sure, it's great for them. And which no one's problem. Harry and which one's Meghan? Uh, <laughs> can we put them on the screen? No. Wow, <laughs> that's no. not very no. nice. No, I know. I'm kidding. I know. Like, I, we know. just don't. I'm just saying. We don't well, the last laugh I would say is on Harry. I mean, he's, he still has his hair, so that's a good thing. That's great, William. That's a, that's, a, that's a good point.